Hey guys, in this exercise 9-4, we're going to be looking at how to annotate your reflector ceiling plan. And this is similar to annotating anything. So let's go ahead and go to under our project browser. We're going to go under the ceiling plan and we're going to select basement. Once you have this view open, we're going to go under annotate. Under the text panel, we're going to select text. You can also use text from the quick access toolbar and you can also type in TX. We're going to keep the text as 330 seconds and we're going to add a note here. Once we have this written, we can add an arrow by simply selecting the text and selecting add arrow. We're going to come in here and delete the ceiling from this particular plane. Once you have modified the ceiling, you're literally stating that you have no ceiling in this particular area. Aside from the typical text you can place into your Revit file, I wanted to point out ways for you to add textiles into your projects. You can go under Annotate, Text Panel, select Text, or type in TX to enter text, or you can go under the Quick Access Toolbar to go to Text. Once you're here, you're going to select a quarter-inch aerial font, click Edit Type, and while you're under Edit Type, you can change your font from this particular location. But prior, for us, prior to us changing the font, we can duplicate and call this quarter inch new font. Press OK. And now you're gonna go under Arial and you can select any font you want. We're gonna go ahead and select Swiss 721 BD. Press OK. Now the text size you've entered, uh, Revit automatically scales the text in each view. And the way if you add a text to a quarter inch plan is going to be about four and a half inches tall. And the way it's doing it is you're recognizing the font to be quarter inch on a sheet file once it's printed. So that's what you're indicating. So it is re relatively scaling it based on the drawing size to the sheet file. And that can be seen when you're clicking on edit type. That could be seen here, text size at quarter inch. Anytime you hit tab, it's a half inch tab, so it goes over half an inch. It is looking at real world scale. With the new font, we're going to type in not excavated. And we can get rid of the arrow by hitting the minus key. With that said, that concludes exercise 9-4. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. Follow for more content.